family Apocynaceae is based on the type genus Apocynum and is commonly known as the dogbane family, which is a Greek word meaning away from dog. In reference to some species of the family being used as dog poison. Apocynaceae sensolato also includes the former Asclepiadaceae or the milkweed family as a subfamily Asclepiadoidae. The members of Apocynaceae are often poisonous containing alkaloids or glycosides especially in the seeds and latex. The family includes many well-known ornamental shrubs and vines such as periwinkle, oleander, milkweed etc. and many succulent plants such as stapelia and plumeria. The family is characterized by the occurrence of climbers, shrubs, trees and herbs which often contain milky latex in the aerial parts. The presence of pollinia with translator apparatus is a characteristic feature of the subfamily Asclepiadoidae. The occurrence of a tuft of hairs on seeds is a distinguishing feature of this family. Some of the common genera of this family are Asclepias, commonly known as the milkweed, which include red flowered plants, Calotropis with xerophytic wild shrubs, Nerium or oleander which are grown as ornamentals, alamanda which are the climbers with showy flowers, rolfia which are important medicinal plants and thevesia which include poisonous plants. Apocynaceae is one of the 10 largest families of angiosperms comprising 480 genera and 4,800 species including Asclepiadaceae. They are distributed widely in the tropical and subtropical regions of the world with only a few species in the temperate regions. Asclepias with about 220 species, Tabernay Montana with 220 species, Sinancum with 200 species, Seropedia with 140 species, Hoya with 140 species, Raulfia with 105 species and Alamanda with 15 species are some of the larger genera. Habitat, which is the area or environment where an organism normally lives. Plants in Apocynaceae are usually mesophytic, but some species such as Nerium and Plumeria show xerophytic characters, such as the occurrence of coriaceous leaves with a thick cuticle. The habit or the characteristic appearance form or manner of growth in Apocynaceae shows that the plants vary from perennial herbs such as vinca to shrubs such as thevesia or they are small trees like calotropis and plumeria and sometimes they are climbers such as cryptostasia and tylophora. Some members in the Apocynaceae are epiphytic such as Dishidia. They are sometimes succulent such as Hoya or 
completely xerophytic with cactus like body such as stapelia. These plants are often with milky latex. In Apocynaceae, root is usually a branched tap root. That is the root that derives directly from the radical. But rarely we find adventitious roots in Apocynaceae such as in Dishidia. Sometimes a fleshy or tuberous perennial root stalk is also present. The stem is aerial, herbaceous, woody or climbing. In some xerophytic forms of Apocynaceae, the stem is succulent and usually modified into green phylloclades and often with protective covering of wax and hairs as we can find in Hoya and Stapelia. Anatomically, the stem is characterized by the presence of bicolateral vascular bundles. Those bundles in which the phloem occurs both internal and external to the xylem. Latex is present in laticiferous vessels. In Apocynaceae, leaves are usually opposite decussate as we can see in Calotropis or world as in Narium or sometimes alternate as we can find in Amsonia. These leaves are simple, entire and sometimes reduced to spines or scales as we can find in Stapelia with pinnate venation and are petiolate and extipulate. In Dishidia, the leaves are transformed into a pitcher. The inflorescence is usually in dichasial or monochasial cymes, but are sometimes paniculate or umbilate, as we can see in Asclepias and Calotropis. Rarely, the flowers are solitary, as we can see in Vinca and Stapelia. The flower in Apocynaceae is bracteate, bracteolate, pedicillate or sessile, actinomorphic, pentamerous or tetramerous. These flowers are bisexual, hypogynous, rarely perigynous or epigynous as we can see in plumeria and are often coronate and a hypogynous disc is usually present. Parient, which is the collective term for sepals and petals found in Apocynaceae is biseriate that is arranged in two whorls with a distinct calyx and corolla. Calyx commonly consists of five sepals which are either distinct and then aposepalous or they are basally conate called as synsepalous. This calyx is regular and with valvate astuation as we can see in catharanthus or it's with quinconcial astuation as we can see in Thevesia. This calyx often shows glandular appendages like colitus or squamily at its base. Corolla comprises five petals which are united into a tube and are thus sympetalous. This corolla is usually salver form as we can see in Catharanthus or infundibuliform as we can find in Cryptostasia and Thevesia or its campanulate as we can find in Alamanda and 
Calotropis or is sometimes pitcher like as we can find in Seropegia. This corolla shows imbricate or rarely valvate estuation and is often hairy within. Corona is usually of five scales or appendages and is either coralline that is arising from the corolla throat as we can see in Narium or it is staminal that is arising from the staminal tube as we can find in Calotropis. It's often elaborated with appendages like horns and hooks which are meant to contain nectar. Sometimes a separating column is present between the hood and corolla. The corona usually shows twisted, sometimes imbricate or rarely valvate estuation. These coronal appendages are nectariferous. The endrosium consists of five stamens which are alternipetalous or epipetalous. The filaments are short and free as we can see in aposinoidy or they are conate into a short tube as we can find in asclepiadoidy except for cryptostasia. Anthers are free with separate pollen grains or they are adnate with stigma by their connectives. They are dithecus, basifixed, often sagittate or arrow shaped, introse and longitudinal in dehiscence. In Nerium, the anthers bear hairy appendages and the connectives are often prolonged above into long outgrowths which are spirally coiled around one another. In Asclepiadoidy, the stamens are adnate to the stigma, forming a five-angled disc called as gynostegium, also known as gynandrium. The pollen are fused within the anther sacs to form waxy mass called pollinium. The two pollinia, one each from adjacent anther, are held together by a translator apparatus located within the stigmatic or pollination slits on the sides of this gynostegium. In translator apparatus, each pollinium is attached through a cortical to each of the two arms called as retinaculi, which in turn are attached to a central gland called corpusculum. Gynesium in Apocynaceae consists usually of two carpels which are united or syncarpus but sometimes only epically. The ovary is mostly superior, uni to bilocular with two or more pendulous ovules in each locule. Style is simple and the stigma is often enlarged into a massive thick head bearing five lateral pollination slits which are also known as stigmatic slits. A ring like disc is usually found at the base of the ovary. The placentation is marginal and the ovules are anatropous. In Apocynaceae, the fruit is usually a pair of follicles or it's a berry as we can find in Landolphia. It can even be a droop as we can see in Cerbera or a capsule as we can find in Alamanda. Sometimes two indehiscent winged mericops or samara are also found as we can see in Cameraria. 
The seeds are endospermic or non-endospermic, flattened but sometimes winged as we can see in Alamanda and Plumeria. They are mostly with a tuft of silky hairs at the apex. Embryo is straight and the cotyledons are two which can be flat, folded or rolled. Pollination in Epocyanaceae is entomophilus. Insects like butterflies, bees, etc. are attracted by the colored petals, the corona and the nectar secreted by the disc. In Asclepiadoidae, once an insect aligns on a flower in search of nectar, its legs become attached to the corpusculum of the translator apparatus, connecting a pair of pollinia and slip down in the stigmatic slit in the column and hook. As the insect flies away, it pulls the twin pollinia from the stigmatic slit. When the insect arrives at another flower, the pollinia are in such a position that they are reinserted in a stigmatic slit into the stigmatic chamber and then break off, thus distributing the pollen grains over the stigma. Seed dispersal in Epocyanaceae occurs mainly by wind due to the presence of winged seeds and tuft of hairs. Different taxonomists have classified the family differently. Some of the prominent ones are number one the Bentham and Hooker. The two British botanists placed Epocyanaceae in the class Dicotyledons subclass Gamopetali, series Bicarpilati and order Gentia nails. Arthur Cronquist, an American taxonomist, placed the Epocyanaceae in the division Magnoliophyta, class Magnoliopsida, subclass Asteridae and order gentia nails. Armin Taktajan, a Russian taxonomist, placed the family in the division Magnoliophyta, class Magnoliopsida, subclass Lamidae, superorder gentia nani, and order Epocyanales. nails. Rob Dahlgren, a Danish botanist, placed the family in the class Magnoliopsida, subclass Magnolidae, superorder Lawsani, and order Gentia nails. Robert Thorne, an American taxonomist, placed the family in the class Angiospermy, subclass Lamidae, superorder Lamiani and order Rubiales. Angiosperm phylogeny group, a large collaborative group of taxonomists led by Peter Stevens, placed the family in APG2 of group U asterids first and order Gentia nails. Epocyanaceae in a broader sense comprises two earlier families, the Epocyanaceae or Dogbane family and the Asclepiadaceae or the Milkweed family. The second being considered as a subfamily Asclepiadoidae of the first one. Previously most taxonomists namely Bentham and Hooker Engler and Prantle, Hutchinson, Cronquist and Dahlgren considered the family Epocyanaceae to be close
closely related to Asclepiadaceae, the latter bearing pollinia, gynostegium and mostly staminal corona. Later on, Thorn merged the family Asclepiadaceae with Apocynaceae and the practice has been followed by Taktajan, Jude et al, APG2 and AP Webb. Jude et al and Andres et al believe that the separation of Asclepiadaceae as a distinct family would lead to paraphyletic Apocynaceae. Thorn divided the family Apocynaceae into five subfamilies, which are Rolfioidae or commonly known as Plumeroidae, Apocynoidae, Periplocoidae, Sycamonoidae and Asclepiadoidae. Sandblad and Bremer considered Rolfioidae and Apocynoidae quite widely paraphyletic. Podgater and Albert are of the opinion that the generic limits and the position of the Periplocoidae as sister to Sycamonoidae and Asclepiadoidae is not properly clear. Cladistic analysis from the sequence data for the RBCL gene from 24 taxa of the families Apocynaceae and Asclepiadaceae have also shown that the Asclepiadaceae are nested within the Apocynaceae. An amalgamation of the two families has therefore been recommended. The subfamilial classification is also found to be in the need of revision. The subfamilies Plumeroidae and Apocynoidae of the current classifications are paraphyletic as are many tribes. The Apocynaceae and Asclepiadaceae are two relatively large families. In total, approximately 4,800 species in the order Gentia nails of Asteridae. The current circumscription of the Gentia nails was made by Vonitus, who included the families Gentianaceae, Rubiaceae, Apocynaceae, Asclepiadaceae, and Loganiaceae. Recent molecular studies also support this circumscription. Today, most systematists like Dalgrain, Cronkist, Taktajan, and Thorn accept that the Apocynaceae and the Asclepiadaceae are closely related within the order. Several recent studies have shown that they form a monophyletic group and have indicated that the nearest sister groups of the Apocynaceae Asclepiadaceae complex are to be found in the paraphyletic family Loganiaceae. We now come to the classification of the family Apocynaceae. Apocynaceae sensulato is an amalgamation of the two families Apocynaceae and Asclepiadaceae. Thorn divided the family into five subfamilies. These subfamilies are Rolfioidae, Apocynoidae, Periplocoidae, Sycamonoidae, and Asclepiadoidae. The last three subfamilies contain the genera which were initially included in the Asclepiadaceae whereas the first two subfamilies used to be a part of Apocynaceae in a strict sense. But nowadays all the five subfamilies are included in the family Apocynaceae. The family is of great economic importance particularly for its ornamental, medicinal and poisonous plants 
as well as for rubber and fiber yielding plants. First, we will talk about the medicinal value of Apocyanaceae. Several species of Apocyanaceae are medicinally important such as Rawlsia serpentina, commonly known as Sarpganda. Its roots are a source of many alkaloids like serpentine and reserpine which are used to treat mental disorders and high blood pressure. Juice from leaves is used to treat eye problems. From sarcostema acidum, the dried stem is used as an antidote for snake bites. Alstonia scholaris bark is used to cure snake bite and the milky juice is applied in ulcers. Holarina antidecentrica seeds yield a drug which is used in the treatment of amoebic dysentery. Catharanthus roseus yields some anti-carcinogenic drugs, particularly the anti-leukemic. Valeris solanacea latex is used for curing toothache and for inflated gums. Thevisia peruviana seeds are used in the treatment of rheumatism and dropsy. Tylophora indica roots are used in the treatment of asthma, bronchitis, and whooping cough. The family Apocynaceae also presents many ornamental plants. Some of these include Nerium indicum, the common Indian oleander, which is grown for its fragrance and showy pink or white flowers. Thevisia peruviana, which is grown for foliage and fragrance and bear yellow or orange flowers. Plumeria acuminata is grown usually for fragrance and bright colored flowers. Elementa cathartica is a choice climber grown usually for lax racemes of its large showy and golden yellow flowers. Carissa spinarum is a spiny shrub grown as hedge for difficult areas of the landscape. Vinca or the common periwinkle, particularly Vinca major and Vinca minor are grown for violet flowers and planted as ground cover and in window boxes. Some plants of this family are also grown in glass houses such as the species of Asclepias, Hoya, Stapelia, Seropegia, etc. The plants from Apocynaceae are also a source of fiber. The fiber obtained from Asclepias curusavica, Calotropis gigantea, Tylophora tenius, and Mastenia royally is used for cordage, fishing nets and twines. Many species of Hancornia, Funtumia, Cryptostasia etc. are a commercial source of rubber. Many plants of this family are poisonous and may sometimes prove fatal if ingested. Some of the poisonous species are Thevisia peruviana from which the seeds contain Thevitin, a poisonous glycoside. Echocanthera abyssinica latex is used for poisoned arrows. Nerium indicum bark and wood provide rat poison. The whole plant of Sinancum arnosianum is used as an insecticide. 